Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to uh, forego the boat. It's a little bit uh, rainy and windy out today. So we're going to uh, scout a little bit and uh, see if we can fish some pools out in Fredericton Junction. Stay with us. So guys, moved to a little bit different spot here, a little bit higher than uh, than I was just fishing earlier. I'm hoping that this far side is a little bit deeper. Maybe it holds a few fish. Not sure. Beautiful spot though, if you can see. Sun's trying to fight through there a little bit. Rivers got a little bit more water, obviously, because we've had quite a bit of rain these last couple of days which was definitely a change from our spring we went a few weeks without even a hint of rain so I'm hoping that a little bit further across the river here it's a little bit deeper maybe certainly feel rocks in the bottom there. I mean, it's all rocks around here. And that's why I'm using that tube. So my goal here is to make that tube look like a crayfish, of course, because that's what I figure is kind of hiding in and around these rocks. And on top of that, I'm hoping that there's a bass or two hiding around these rocks trying to eat up this crayfish. There's something. Probably see my rod tip there, a little tap. So something here, not big. It's just kind of tapping at it, maybe perch or something along those lines. Try and get out in that current a little bit. Something more again. Look at little fish here. Yeah, there's little fish out there. Maybe there's some bigger bass chasing them around. Let's hope. Sun's trying to peek through here a little bit. I did get hit a little bit out in that current. I don't know if I can reach that as the dealio. It's not bad out there. Let's see what happens. Yep, there we go. Tiny guy.
little fella. Here you go, my friend. So it looks like there are some bass out there. He wasn't very big, but he's there. Ooh, little guy. Little tiny dude. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Go eat something, get bigger for us. Nothing of any size, of course, but yeah, you're still catching fish. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. At least it's shaping up to be nice. It was supposed to be cloudy and rainy, and the wind was really supposed to pick up. That's why I didn't take the boat out today. But I can see that it gets deeper here, right in front of me. I don't want to go too far. I'd like to be able to have a little bit further reach, but I do see, if you can see that rock that's just coming out like the middle pillar of that uh, train bridge and that rock, I'd love to be able to get up on that rock and cast in that little bit of slack water that's underneath the bridge, but let's see. There's another one. That's a big one. Big -er. A little bit bigger, not big by any means, but there you go, buddy. So that was kind of a bonus there, as you saw when I was lifting that little guy out of the water he spit up that little fish where did it go there it goes there you are so that's what they're in here feeding on guess i'm throwing them something a little different but Normally you'd want to come in here and match the hatch. You throw a little swim bait in there about that size. And theory is that you'd catch fish doing that. But to be quite honest, I didn't. Uh, I just had my little backpack on here this morning and a couple of like essentials. And uh, I didn't bring any swim baits with me this morning. I just uh, just took some tubes and some TRD Z-Man TRD uh, worms, Ned rigs, however you'd like to class it, I guess. 
So if I wasn't going to get anything on tubes, then, uh, then I was going to throw the TRD out there. But that tube seems to be working. That's the, um, I'll show you the bag here eventually, because I'm sure I'm going to lose one. But that's the coffee tube. That's the, I think it's Strike King. That's uh, the KVD deal. Everybody knows KVD is the man. Um, and that's one of his baits, so. I can feel that coming through the weeds there. So it does seem they are over in the, in a little bit deeper water. Like I said, I really wish I could get a little bit closer because I think it's deeper on that side. It looks a little steep where those weeds or grass is over there. Like another five feet further than where that just landed it looks like it comes down really really steep so there might be some good deep water on the other side and that's where these guys are kind of sitting closer to the bridge. I'm just not sure how deep the water gets is the deal. I mean, I don't mind getting wet, but I've never been down here before, so I do not know how deep that water is. All right, so you can see I just, I moved a little bit further down because um, this thing came in a little bit and I could see under the water and see that it wasn't too, too deep here. So I was casting the bait across into this current. So now I'm down current from kind of where I caught those fish a few minutes ago. So now I'm going to drag this tube with the current a little bit. And uh, we'll see. My goal still is to get to that big rock down there. Um, we'll have to see if I can get down there. Wow, I don't know if he let that go or if that just broke off, but that was, oh, no, he's still there. Wow. It almost felt like he bent the hook back and took off. Wow, so let's get my arm out of the way of the camera here. He's strong, this guy. Certainly not giving up. Come here, my friend. I'm afraid that he might be really deeply sunk there because it's like he hit it a couple of times. Yeah, that is way back. Poor guy. And then my clipper's on me here right away. I'm not even going to try and take that because he's got that so deep. It's a good sized fish. All I did was cut my line there. Hope that he's all right. Nobody. Man, he hit the first time and I had him on there and I knew I had him on there, but 
Then I th thought he had, uh, he had broke me off right away. But that wasn't the case. He took that second gulp of that, uh, that tube and he got it down there. So I do not want to mess with that at all. That's good. First cast over in this deeper water. That's a bigger fish. So I'm just going to retie here, guys. Uh, like I said, I promised to show you the, the bag that we're using here. These are the coffee tubes. Get these at Bass Pro and Moncton, of course. And this is what we're firing out there today. All right, guys, we uh, retied with the other tube. Man, I feel bad that that guy got that one so, so deep. But I think the key is that you don't mess with that. If you get in there and start digging around, you start bleeding all over the place, start tearing up his esophagus in there. And man, I don't think it's a good, a good deal. So he should be okay. Cut that right away, get him back in the water. It sure lets you know there's some fish right along this side. That guy was a much better size. Man, I really feel like I should be firing a topwater right along that side there. Man, I thought about it this morning, but I'm trying to travel a little light from the truck, so. I really feel if you put a topwater right along that grass, you have some fun, I think. I don't know if you can see the water there, but the water kind of changes just downstream from where I landed that. And I'm thinking there's a rock there. It's like a little bit of a swirl there. Yeah, now I'm caught on the rock. So, good chance that there is a rock, because I was just on it. So I'm going to try two more casts. And then I am going to try and move down to that rock I was talking about. I'm going to do one more right along the edge here. I think it's a little bit of a steep edge, like I mentioned. And I'm going to make one a little bit further out, like to the left-hand side of where I thought that rock was, where I just got caught on. Honestly, probably moving that tube a little bit too fast. Just a little bit excited here. That was a good sized fish. For in here, nothing that I would take to the scales of a tournament, I would hope. But this has actually turned out to be a really nice morning. That being said, I am kind of protected all the way around here, so it was supposed to get pretty windy today. So I know I said I was only going to make two more casts, but on that last cast I got all hooked up, or snagged up I mean, and had to break off another tube. So I switched to this, this Ned rig here. So you can see that that's a weedless Ned rig, that's a lifted jigs EWG head, and then I got an X-Zone perch colored Ned rig on there. So of course I'm going to make those two casts again. Just just in case. I mean, it's something different. This one doesn't like it. There is a little bit of wind, so I'm trying to get right along that edge line. And the tube was heavier for sure. That's a little bit further out from the shore than I wanted, but it is what it is. I don't know if showing them different is going to work or they only feed on what they normally see. That being said, they've already made a liar to me this morning about the crayfish thing in the tube. And the guy that we picked up with the tube spit a little fish. So, <laughs> yeah, what do I know? So 
I'll just make one more cast. I'm pretty sure that's a rock that I got caught on there not too long ago. And I can see the water kind of swirling a little bit around in that direction. It kind of comes down and turns this way. So oh, I'm stuck in the same, same bunch of rocks. There must be a ridge here right in front of me. I can feel the wind coming up behind me now. So at least the weatherman was kind of right. He did say it was going to get windy today. All right. So as you can see, I made it out to that rock that I've been that I've been talking about here. So we'll see what we can do from out here. On my way over here, I'm thinking to myself, I did switch to this Ned rig, but I wonder if it's just something that they're not used to seeing and therefore not super interested. We're about to find out, of course, but uh, the Ned rig doesn't work relatively quick i'm gonna go right back to the tube because i think that's more along the lines of what they're used to seeing or eating the rocks here are covered in this little slime it makes them very very slippery that's twice i've almost went on the keister it's not awesome kind of see too like I try and show you a little bit more current coming from upstream and then right when it gets close to that side of the train bridge that's where the current is and then all along that edge and that's where they are I think is in the current and they're waiting for stuff to come by it's kind of letting that nidra go with the current there so that they think that it's just something on its way by but like I said, I'm not going to waste too much time with this net rig. I'm going to go right back to that tube here right away, I think. If we don't manage to get something here. And who knows? I mean, we caught four fish here, right? So, I mean, that might be the resident four fish in this area. Who knows? One more cast with this guy and then we're going to go right back to the tube and attack that deeper water, at least what I think is deeper water, from a different angle. And then we're going to call it good. Oops. I felt just a little tap, of course I was leaving that slack because I wanted it to go with the current probably let that a little bit too slack but there is a fish now if we can just coax them over here strong little fella little show he's not super small is he Pretty decent size. Inside the mouth. All sorts of tied up in the side. Go. That's not a bad fish here at all. It's pretty good. Making it fun, making a liar out of me, and I don't mind. Thank you, my friend. Here you go. So, there you have it, guys. No boat today. Got up early, headed out to a relatively local area. I showed you exactly what to use, exactly how to use it, pretty much why I was using it. And we caught some fish. It's all right there. Now it's your turn. See you on the water.